We know the hot weather is sending plenty of people to pools and splash pads around Colorado, but one of the most popular spots to cool down in Arvada has been closed since before the pandemic, and it can't even open now. CBS 4's Jeff Todd in Arvada on this very hot night. Jeff, sounds like the city's running into all kinds of problems trying to get that splash pad spouting again. Jim, it's like a lot of issues that we're seeing in other industries because of the pandemic. There are problems with supply chains and getting parts. There's also problems with staffing. The splash pad in Ralston Central Park has been crown jewel uh, of the community since 2014 when it opened. But on Tuesday, as temperatures reached triple digits, the beloved splash pad was dry. Chase Records kids kept hoping the sprayers would miraculously turn on. They've been to a splash park before, so it's not their first rodeo, but yeah, definitely would be ideal if it was throwing water and not hot air. The pandemic has caused a late start to the pads opening this year. The splash pad operates much like a, a swimming pool, actually. It has the same sorts of pumps and pipes and chemicals to make the water safe. And the city of Arvada is having trouble not only finding the right parts to make sure the water can flow and meet quality standards, they also can't find qualified people to do the work. We do not have certified pool technicians on our staff. We have traditionally partnered uh, with the Apex Center that has a number of pools. They do not have the capacity this year to support that effort. The city is training staff to get the splash pad fixed and online. These are circumstances that are out of our control, but we are stepping up to move as quickly as possible to get this back online because it's such an important part of central Arvada and Arvadans all over the community come and enjoy it. How nice would it be if it was on right now? <laughs> It'd be a lot nicer because it's really hot. That's for certain. Officials Arvada do not think that they are alone. They think other municipalities are having these problems as well. And they're working hard to keep a patient public informed. They're updating a website every few days, but an opening date still has not been announced. We're live in Arvada tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Thanks.